Maslow's been saying it for years. Y'all, some of y'all can go back to your Psych 101. Long journey for a lot of us up in here, I can tell. Ooh. Just saying, it ain't gonna be me I'm going all that far back by myself. Look what he's been saying. Tier one and two. You gotta take care of their physiological needs, their safety. We do great at that. They don't walk around no shoes. We have the backpack program for the poverty. We got the SROs in the building. We have health screen. We do great at tier one and two. I don't know what happens to our educational leaders because what happens after we get shoe, food in them and shoes on them? They want us to leap over tier three and four and get on up to need to know and understand. And Maslow's like, uh, yeah, hold it right there. Ain't gonna happen. You gotta love them up on tier three and four. And what's tier three and four? Do you see me? Do you hear me? Does what I say matter to you? How are you doing with your cheerings this year working on tier three and four? You know, this came down from the mountaintop in Tennessee. Anybody heard this a time or 10? Rigor, relevance, and relationships. And you know what I thought when I saw that? I was like that dog that kind of went, hmm? <laughs> because some of y'all are thinking the same thing. What? It's in the wrong order. We need to go ahead and flip that. That's research-based. And I tell you, one of my good old boys in Dade City, Florida, sitting at his desk one day, and it's one of the best things he ever said, very wise boy. I guess he thought the work was kind of easy because he looks up, he's like, you know, Miss B, this ain't rocket surgery. I said, no, darling, it's not. <laughs> and I want to go to my leaders at the state and the federal level, and I just want to grab them by the lapel, and I want to shake the snot out of them. And I want to say, this ain't rocket surgery. <laughs> Love on the children. Make them look as happy as the cows. <laughs>